So if you're using Gmail, and let's face it, if you're in business and you're not using Gmail, you're a bit of a doofus. But if you're using if you're using Gmail um, and you've got a Google account, um, you're going to want to organise your Google contacts. And how you get to do Google contacts, there's two ways. That's one. The first thing is you make sure you're logged into your Google account. The second thing is you can either access it from your Gmail, just clicking there, or you can um, go to google.com forward slash contacts. Once, make sure you're logged in to your, your Google account. Okay, so I'm going to go through three things that every user must have uh, in relation to uh, a Google and, and their contacts, and three things they must do. The first thing is to create and manage your contacts. And you'll see when you log in, you'll probably see something like this, and you'll see my contacts. But you might think, oh, how come I haven't got many, or how come I've got so many contacts? All right, now, these contacts are sorted in two ways. Every time you email somebody in, in your Gmail account, and every time you chat to somebody, that contact is recorded, okay? But it's not officially put into your contacts. It's put into a folder called unsorted. And you'll see it. You'll see it uh, under here. Uh, in, in, so it's called other contacts. So you'll see it in other contacts here. Okay. And what you have to do, and what I do is, I actually created a group called Unsorted, and I move them from there. And all you do is you, you select the if you want to if you want to move um, if you want to move a contact, you just select that person or or that that contact, and then put them into the fo into the folder that you've created here. Okay, so um, so that's how you do it. So what I do is, when in the other contacts, once a week I move them. I just log in here for thirty seconds and I move them into a folder called unsorted. Okay, and all these contacts are people I've got to put into other groups. Okay, so let's go through the three main things you've got to do in Google Contacts. So the first thing is to create contact groups. Okay, and the reason you do that is I can email off every person in tennis at once by just typing in tennis in the compose field in the contacts in the email field in good Gmail, and I can email all 32 people in that group. You can email up to 200 people at once. Okay, so your groups have got to be reasonably small. You don't want to have big, massive groups, but you want to break it down. You can see, you know, family, friends, uh, friends from friends from my old football. You can break it down. And, and you should break it down to close friends, uh, or you know, maybe friends Miami, friends Sydney, friends Beijing, wherever you are. But you, you might break it down friends school, you know, uh, and that way then you can really uh, you can really uh, make use of this. And it's it's a big time saver when you want to email off a whole group of people. <coughs> okay, so how you create a group? New group. Just click on that, you'll get a button come up and you just create a new group and then you can add people to that group. Okay? Okay, so that's the first hint. Okay? The second hint is to regularly check your contacts. Okay? And what you'll find is uh, under your contacts, you'll, you'll see a button called Mer, More. Uh, Mer. Uh, then what you do is you click Find and Merge Duplicates and if it finds every, any duplicates, which it will when you first start, it will merge all those duplicates together, okay? And now it finds them by name, email, or phone number if the fo those three things are the same, okay? All right. Um, so, yeah, what you want to do is regularly check and sort, sort out your contacts. Now, the final thing you want to do is if, you use, if you've got an Android uh, phone or an Android tablet, everything just syncs perfectly, okay? If you have, however, if you have like a, an iPhone or an iPad, you're going to want to sync up Google Calendar Sync, uh, Google Sync, and what that will do is it'll sync your contacts and your calendars with your with your um, with your iPhone or iPad uh, calendar. And and under this email, I'll uh, in this email I'll I'll, sh I'll send I'll show you a link um, uh, in this uh, video. I'll put a link below it in the text where you can actually. Um, just click on that link and then sync your contacts and your calendars and etc. with your iPhone or your iPad. Okay, and you want to do that. Um, now, if you've got, if you're looking at buying an Android phone, which a lot of people are now, especially people who are in business uh, online, there's really, there's really three phones that you should only consider, 
And the reason for that is because Google, the Android system that runs Google, is an open source system. And, you know, many more phones are run on Android than, than do on um, than Apple's uh, iOS, okay? Uh, however, um, not all of them are the same because they all, it's, it's an open source software, which means that some people can make a, a mockery of the, of the operating system and you'll find that you won't get updates. So there's three phones to look for. Number one um, is the phone that I have, which is called a Google, uh, Google Nexus phone. It's called the Google Nexus 4 from LG. It's an awesome little phone. You buy it outright, then you pick your plan. Like as an example, my plan's like $35, $40 a month, unlimited text, text, chalk, and I've got like a limit on my downloads, but I don't care. You can get you can get unlimited downloads for something like $70 a month. So you'll notice if you've already got an iPhone or something, you're paying like $120, $130, $140 a month. You're, the rest of that money, you're paying off a phone over two years, which ends up being a massively expensive uh, program to be on. So the first phone I would get, if, if I were you, it's, not, it's by no means the best Android phone. Um, it's probably the se second or third best Android phone, but it's a great phone. Uh, and it's a simple phone, and, it's, and because it's from Google Direct, it updates frequently. So any update, it's really usually the first to get the updates on Android, which is pretty cool. The second phone would be the Samsung Galaxy S3 or S4, which many would say is better than the iPhone, and it's probably better than the LG Nexus, but it also carries a price tag around $800, and if you go on a plane, you'll be paying that, you'll probably end up paying back $1,200, just like you would with an iPhone. Okay, but it's a it's an amazing phone, um, and uh, well worth it if you've got the money you want to spend on that sort of thing. Uh, to me, the most important things are phone calls, contacts, uh, syncing all my Google applications all in, on one phone, uh, and so the LG Nexus serves my purpose. The third one is from HTC, and it's called the HTC One, and it's, there's a new version out shortly, just like with the Samsung Galaxy X4, S4, which is out this month. Um, the HTC One, another great phone. But I've had bad experiences with HTC. I had a HTC Thunderbolt, and I was like two years behind, or a year and a half behind everyone else on updates. It's a, it was a slow phone, and they never upgraded it, so I'll never buy a HTC phone again. Uh, but that's just me personally. Okay, so um, if you're not, if you if you don't use an Android phone, then I'll then I'll provide the link for for the contacts with the and the link also has a help file on how you can. Do it step by step, takes about five minutes, you only need to do it once and it's all done. Okay, all right, so thanks very much. Hope you enjoyed the little tutorial um, and uh, we'll talk to you again soon. If you've got any comments, just make a comment underneath the video. Thank you.